All right, so it's Zambia taking on Iran for winner takes all. The winner of this game, of course, will qualify to the next round. They'll have six points. Both teams won in their opening games. Uh, of course, Iran were victors over Costa Rica 1-1. One one. Zambia victors of the, the Portuguese by two goals to one. Team news coming into this one is that Patson Daka is fit and ready to go ahead of tomorrow's game after he had a lip laceration in the first game against the Portuguese. So also coming up is uh, the tender fact that if Zambia win this game tomorrow, of course, we qualify to the next round of this year's tournament. And Zambia's victory in the first game has, of course, re-energized many followers of Zambian football from far and wide. Let's give you some German precision as uh, Zambia's Premier Soccer Show was in conversation with Moses Sichone and Andrew Sinkala telling us about their thoughts about Zambia's performance against the Portuguese and what we can expect against Iran in the next game. Uh, well, as a former Zambian player, um, I just want to say a few things for our under 20 Zambia national team. So far, you guys, you've done so well. You've made us all proud. And um, I know it's, it's, it's not easy to participate in the World Cup for the first time. You guys, you are still young, but in football, anything is possible. Um, so far, you are champions in Africa and you, now you are playing the big tournament, the World Cup and uh, you've shown what you can uh, so far. Um, you've beaten, you currently uh, uh, have beaten uh, um, uh, Portugal, the defending champions. Um, my only word to you is um, so far as I said, you've done well. And for you guys to beat Portugal, that means the battle has just started. So you just have to stay focused and be determined for the coming games. And um, I have no doubt you'll go far. I can only wish you guys all the best in all coming games, the entire co coaching Staff, you guys, you've done a tremendous job, and I hope to see you guys reach the finals. No matter how the tournament is going to end, we are proud of you. All the best. All right, so that's some German precision coming from former Polo Polo defender Moses Sichon. We didn't quite end there a long time, no see to one midfield maestro who was a very important cock for the Zambia national team and he also formed part of the class of 1999. Let's hear from Andrew Sinkala. Hello, Andrew Sinkala here, former under 20 national team player. First of all, I would love to say congratulations to you guys, the trainer team. You guys, you have done a wonderful job so far, winning Africa Cup and directly qualified to the World Cup. Last night I saw your game against Portugal. You guys who played a wonderful football. You played a nice football. Beating a, cha a defending champion is not easy, but you did it. I'm passing this message to you just to motivate you guys. I'm saying this to you because I know, because I also play that World Cup, the same World Cup you are playing. My message to you is that from now, don't use this word, we have to. By saying so, you are putting yourself under pressure. So from today, as you go to bed, as you're having your dinner, tell your roommates, 
your friends that we can do it. You are not alone. People in Zambia, people in Europe, here in Germany, everywhere, they are talking about you. You are the talk of the town. So, you guys, you can only do it if you work as a team. I'm saying so because only that will help you to win this World Cup. Don't force yourself. Don't say we have to. You are not there to kill yourselves. You are there to enjoy. Play football. So you guys, just believe in yourselves. Because I saw you playing. And I believe in you. And I know you can do it. It's just a small video. We are here praying for you and we we'll always pray for you. We we'll watch all the old, the old games for you. That's why I'm saying good job, trainer team, the whole team. Keep on working. Show the world that we can do it. This is Andrew Sinkala. Former and all right, Andrew Sinkala there. So all the best, Zambia. Zambia takes on Iran in that important game, second game of uh, the FIFA World Cup Under 17. Victory means we qualify to the next round. So the stakes are ever so high. All the best to Besto and Chambeshi and his men as they try to make Mother Zambia ever so proud and probably rekindle the spirit of 1988 where Zambia went on to shock the continent and definitely engrave our name in world footballing folklore. It's a wrap for now.